it's all starting to take shape here. We should probably turn that fire off. Literally, no one is using it. Like, this fire's been on for two weeks. No one can... No one used it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to House Flipper. Jumping in to flip more of our house that we've got to either sell or use as an office, which I'm kind of leaning towards office, but I might have to sell it because that's the whole point of this game. So it's just kind of one of those things. Uh, we got to go to our house. This is definitely not it. I feel like they update that thing all the time for some reason. Uh, the Huckster's house. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the house and see what we got going on. Between the Sims and the House Flipper, we've been doing a, so much renovations. It's not even funny here lately, but I'm enjoying the hell out of it. And to see where it has went from. Also, the preview, the preview screenshot that they use is almost like the world's shittiest fucking preview. Uh, it's like on the lowest graphics possible. Glad they used something higher quality. Damn, it looks good in here. I've left the lights on too, which is probably not good for the house bill. But in the end of the day, it is what it is. Holy shit, I forgot we did. Oh my god, this is actually sick looking. Holy shit. So, I think today would be, oh my god, the game room slash office slash in the garage slash just everything all in one. And then we have the washer and dryer. We did a lot of actual work the last time that we were in this game though. Holy shit, we set things up. How did I not have that on the first time? That's crazy. Turn on the TV. Might as well use as much energy as we can here. Can I turn on the fireplace? I can't turn on the fireplace. Why the fuck can't I turn it on? Okay, so I think the things that we're going to start with today, even the kitchen honestly looks really damn good. I'm surprised it looks that good. Um, so one of the things that we're going to do today is work on the living room. Uh, that might be the flooring and stuff. I'm not exactly sure. We're definitely going to set up some uh, furniture. We're going to definitely do lighting and stuff because these were just kind of lights I was using just to use. Um, kind of give me some light. I don't really want them. I think a lot of this stuff in here has got to go. But we're going to work on things slowly as we get going here. Uh, we want to do furniture and stuff like that. And I think we'll base a lot of what we do on the furniture uh, as like the lightings and stuff. Because right now our aesthetic is kind of just like a mumble jumbo uh, slushy, I guess you could say. There's just really nothing going on. It definitely looks good with the hardwood floors, though, uh, in the in the kitchen area and then hallway, which honestly might even be a smart idea to just hardwood floor this whole bitch. You know what I mean? I don't know. I said in the beginning, it's like carpet would be nice, but why not just put hardwood floors everywhere? You know what I mean? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and lay down this hardwood floor here. We're going to buy many and we're just going to see what it looks like. There's some basic ass carpet in here as well, too. So go ahead and uh, put that down. 154 bucks for hardwood. And that is completely different than what we had on this side, which I actually like. I don't know if I were to look at this, I would say that the darker wood probably looks a little better than the lighter wood. Um, but where is the dark wood? You would think that was it. It literally says dark wood. I don't know how much darker we could get here with the wood. Uh, let's see. Okay, floor panel brown. Maybe it's just like a basic... Let's see. Really not trying... Oh, 109 bucks. How the fuck is there this many different color browns? What is going on? Okay, we're just going to buy one. Still not the right... What the fuck? Where is this flooring coming from? That's what I need to know. Where the hell did this wood come from? Did they chop down their own trees and make it? Holy shit. I'm going to have so many different panels of wood here. I swear to God, this seems like it would be it. Nope. Nope. And nope. Glad I didn't actually chop into that one there. Did that one. I think we did this one as well, too. Yep, we did. Well, this is just fucking great. There was no other type of dark wood or anything. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, floor panel. That has to be it, dude. That's dark. Nope, still not it. Okay, sick. Um, panel floor brown. We already tried this one. Okay, that was the one we already tried. And then we got dark. Wait a second. Nope, that's the same as that one right there. It's They don't have it again. They just do not have it. So I guess we're going to have to go with a completely different kind of wood, which is just interesting because you would think that they would have had it. Okay, so I think this is the one I'm going to want to go with. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like it was too light. I'm, I'm wasting so much fucking money. I don't know. It just doesn't. 
seem like the nice hardwood over here. Why is it just not showing up? That's kind of weird. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, we're going to have to just go with this one because I have no other option here but to just pick something and have it work because we're wasting money. Oh, wow, that actually doesn't look bad. It's not like super, super nice, but it'll do. It'll do. Uh, we're just going to have to redo the stuff that's over here. Bam. That is what I'm talking Oh, hold on. Shit. By many. Okay, so all the all the floors have to be redone, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Any room that has hardwood, which is pretty much all the rooms, which I guess with the fireplace would be a little sketchy now that I think about it, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, master bedroom. We've got to watch out for the uh, bathrooms and stuff. I just realized it's kind of works on like a square thing. So we've just got to be careful that we don't do anything in the bathroom. That's not going to be good. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much how we do that there. We've got the hallway done. What do we have? Okay, we got tile in there. And see, I don't know. I just, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm liking the lighter look that we have elsewhere. I guess it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I have to do the wall there, I forgot. Okay, so that kind of uh, brings everything together with the hard wood floor, which I think looks kind of cool. I feel like we're going to have to change something with the brick that we have over here. So this is going to be on the wall section. And we're going to look for... I don't think it would be paint, plaster, or anything. It would be... Okay, we went into a lot of stuff here. Wall panels? I don't know about that. Oh, the stone wall cladding. That actually looks kind of cool. Uh, we're going to buy many. Let's see. Can I easily... Okay, I can't easily put it up, but we could buy some like that, and we can try to put it up quickly. Let's see here. Oh, wow. That's so fast. Holy shit. We're just, we're just slapping it against the wall there, dude. That's ridiculous. That makes zero sense at all. Okay, let's get some more... Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay. So that looks so much better because it matches the walls kind of a little more. And I'm kind of curious if we could use this somewhere else in the house now, because that actually really doesn't look bad. The only thing that I wish I could do is kind of recess this wall here. So that way it's, it's actually like sticking out. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be possible because for some reason, is this actually do this on the outside? I'm curious. Let's see here. Okay, so wow, I don't know why they did that then. There's like a recessed area of the home, which I, I don't know why they did that. That doesn't make any sense. Because then it just looks odd in the house. It's not odd, but it just the fireplace would look so much better if it was sticking out of the wall uh, on both sides versus just one. So at least we've got that done. I feel like we went a little too far with our tile stuff into the kitchen there. So we're going to have to fix that up by finding some type of wall or flooring uh, for the kitchen. Let's go ahead and see floor. And then we're looking for something that would look good in the kitchen. White polished porcelain tiles. That actually might look really good and make this kitchen stand out. Oh my God. Because we got that kind of like white. Uh, we got like the white appliances look going on. And just all the marble together and the hardwood makes it look super fucking good. Like super fucking good. I'm liking that a lot. So we have a lot of extra stuff here. Let's just keep all of our extra stuff. This is probably why it's a good idea to buy extra of everything. So that way, in case we need it, we can simply... Oh, we can't put down stacks of that. We just got to quickly do it. That's kind of lame. All right. Looking good. I'm going to move this off to the side here. Good stuff. So I might change this hardwood floor, but at least for now, we're looking solid with that. Um, I'm going to take... Okay. I don't know. I feel like I want to put more tile right there, but I think we're going to be good. Um, the The only thing that bugs me about this kitchen too is the uneven um, counters right there. I don't think they're meant to go together, but they do look like they're supposed to go together. So it's kind of weird, but it does work. So I'll take it. Uh, other than that, everything's looking solid. Ba that bathroom's practically done. So I'm just going to turn this light off for right now. Try to conserve some energy where we can. Oh, that's something we need to do. We need to put flooring in here for this uh, room. Because this technically has the garage flooring. 
which would be cool if we just put the same hardwood floor. Is this the same hardwood floor? No, it's not. Uh, so I think we got to go. We're looking for the dark wood and they're like kind of like panels. I want to say this is it. Yeah, that's it. I think. Yep, that's it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and redo the flooring in here. Make it look like it is actually supposed to be a part of the house versus the garage. Which technically that's what it's a part of. Yeah, now you really can't even tell. That looks really fucking good. And then you also have, again, your garage. And it's all distinguished by uh, the flooring that's going on. So that way when you're kind of walking around, you're like, oh, this is a room. It's like an office or something like that. I would like to get curtains for all the windows that don't have anything. I do like this little room, though. It's it's pretty sick, especially with the hardwood floor. Okay, we're going to shut that because we're not going to mess with that. So I would say we're getting places. Uh, we're kind of bringing the house together just a little bit more as we're going. We have $55,162, which that's still not bad. We started, I think, with like 70000 So we are cooking through it decently, uh, but I think we'll, we'll be good for... We'll be good for a little. Uh, installations, not necessarily. What am I doing? Let's see. Tools. Oh, wow. You can get a whole bunch of fucking tools and shit. Can you actually use them, though? Like, what is the difference in them? Uh, let's see. Oh, I want to look at furniture. What am I doing? So we're going to look at... Um, I'm going to look at, like, couches and stuff right now. Furniture. Living room. Okay, here we go. We've got our living room furniture here. Um, there might be a differences between the front room and the living room. I don't personally know and or understand. Uh, so we're just going to go with what we know. So I would say we have a dark theme going on. So it's like, again, that's why I want to maybe change the flooring and make it look a little better. We're going to have to see. I could probably look at make it look super extravagant in this bitch. Uh, but I'm thinking I like dark couches. Um, and I think that's where I want to go with this. What is the difference? A dark colored left corner sofa, dark colored right corner sofa. So basically that means uh, I can make, that's a thousand fucking dollars for that too. So how we want to do this is I think maybe if we have the TV here, wait a second, I need the couch over here and then the TV behind me where the fireplace is at. So I would think that we want the front door, we want the front door to kind of be sen uh, sectioned off. So we're going to do that, get some white legs by now. Let's turn it. That is fucking massive. Holy shit. Let's just be honest here. Okay. That was an instant purchase, but I feel like that's where I want to put it. Uh, that way it opens up into the kitchen over there and you can, we can put a TV up on the wall here. Uh, yeah, this is not going to work. We're going to have to put this more over here. Okay, that's mu that's much better. Oh, that is like perfect. That is perfect, dude. Okay, so I'm liking that. If we were to sit down, oh my god, yeah, no, that's that's solid right there. This stupid ass light has to go, but that's fine. As for right now, it's totally good. So uh, to kind of visualize everything, so we can kind of get it going. Uh, well, actually, since we're here, we might as well keep going with it, right? Like find the right furniture that would look decent. This is a pretty big couch, so we're gonna need a coffee table that's actually relatively big here. I wonder if we can change the colors to these because this wouldn't be something bad. Something that's like a square. What is that? How is that a fucking coffee table? What is, why, why would someone want a grate there? That makes no sense. Okay, maybe not that one then because that one just doesn't seem like it would be good. Um, There are so many fucking couches here. It's really honestly crazy. I want to try to find like a a chair if I can to put at the end of okay white and let me just buy I want to buy one of these just to see if it'll fit with the couch I'm not sure let's see how we could do this here because this is going to be a big ass living room you know what I mean so we can kind of move stuff around just a little to kind of make it work if we need to because if the TV's here you could still comfortably watch TV from here and at least it won't make the living room look so small you know what I mean it'll kind of fill it out a little more uh it kind of something's going to be blocked here a little but I feel like we can move it back 
kind of twist it a little bit more. Try to get it out of that hallway. That way, yeah, there you go. That's perfect. So that way, when you do walk, you're not really obstructed by a whole bunch of furniture as you're trying to get around. So that's awesome. I want to find some type of uh, coffee table now, if we can. But again, the one that I saw that I liked had these weird holes at the top or like these grates that kind of go through them. Not sure who would want that or why. Um, let's see, CC, coffee table, tables. I, I might as well refine it, right? We need something that's big enough to actually get through the whole couch, though. Let's see. Okay, that's not bad. That's not really the world's biggest coffee table, but at this point, just something to set your drink on wouldn't be that bad. We're going to cancel that for right the second, though, so I can just kind of look around and see if there's anything else. Uh, I just want to look at the size. These aren't really the biggest fucking things ever. Okay, sick. I might just have to go with one of the ones that I think is kind of stupid. Yeah, I feel like that's going to have to be the case. The only reason why is because of the only ones that are that big. Oh, that's not even that big. Okay, fuck it then. We're going to have to go with one of the other ones. Because that's it, huh? Holy shit, what is that? I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it. Don't make me buy it. Okay, we're going with one of these then. I would say if we were to do 28 bucks for a coffee table. Not sure how I feel about that. Okay, so we've got, uh, oh, different types of glass. Interesting. Doesn't even hardly change, but okay. Um, let's see. I say we go black glass. It would probably look better with this couch. Uh, we'll fill it in as best as we can because, again, these coffee tables are rather small for what we got going on. That is a massive gap. Okay, people at the end are kind of going to get screwed out of this, but there's only so much you could do, and it's still not even even. Here we go. Okay, good enough for now. So I'm liking that. So we've got to figure out how we're, what we're going to do with that over there. It's going to be kind of weird, but uh, we could put, like, maybe some stuff here. It's going to be, I feel like, a more modern home, uh, because if not, then... Oh, what are those? See, like I said, we could do a bookshelf or something. Oh, this would be good for like... Oh, yeah, that would be good for... This is where shit's going to get expensive, dude. Like, put it up against the wall here. I wish I could take that window away. Yeah, it's going to work. It's definitely going to work. And I think we should put this in the kitchen. Uh, that way it has like, you know, just something really cool to look at while you're in there. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty tight. Look at the reflections in that shit. They actually look pretty spot on because I have the couch in there now. Oh, God, you can see the whole living room. Nice. Okay, so we're making progress. Again, we can sell some of this stuff if we feel like we don't, you know, really need it or want it or something like that. So not really a big deal on that front. I want to get some electronic equipment. I want a TV flat screen. I want one that hangs on a wall, though. What is up with all this futuristic shit? What are they... What is this, a fucking... I know they're doing some type of cyberpunk thing because you can see all the references that they make. I'm not sure why. Uh, flat screen TV, wall-mounted TV, $631. I think that might be it. By now. Dude, that's still not even it. That's a rat. That's a hella small TV, dude. Where is the, like, super fucking big one? How big is this? Oh, I can put it on there. That's actually kind of dope. That's actually kind of dope. Oh, I, I think it's backwards. Okay, um, let's see what we got here. We got to get it as far back as possible and lined up. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's solid. Oh, my God. Okay, that's actually pretty sick. And then you can turn the fireplace on too. Well, you can't now, but at some point you'll be able to turn the fireplace on. Okay, that's pretty fucking sick. So I want to do some really cool lighting as well too. Um, they had like, in one of the pre-built places that we had to do prior when we were making all this money, they had like these type of lightings, but it kind of like shot off everywhere into like different directions and you could put them across the ceiling. I would like to do something like that because I feel like it would hit the wall pretty good and kind of look good maybe against that stone that's there. Uh, so that's what we're going to try to find here. Okay, so I found the lamp that I was looking for here that kind of shoots light into a whole bunch of different directions. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Oh, wow. That actually is fucking sick, man. It kind of just shoots light on that wall and it looks so fucking good. 
So I feel like I need to take this fucker out now. Uh, let's just sell it. 142 bucks. Oh my god. It looks so much more fucking better in here. And the light should be hitting that way over there too. And I like how it's kind of hitting the couch, but it's not really. Okay, that's that's sick. All right. So the living room looks really fucking good. The kitchen is getting filled out. You kind of got the old aesthetic going on. And then you got like the new age look. And if you can see here, if we were to sit here, you can easily see that TV. No problem. So I'm liking that a lot. I feel like maybe another one of these, but I don't want to overdo it with them. So we could just maybe put it down and then see how it looks. How do we turn? That's for the, oh, nope, that's all the lights. Hallway and everything. So hallway and living room lights, which honestly, that looks really good still. That is a bright ass light or smoon. I'm not sure exactly what. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I just really like those lights. They aren't bad looking at all and they look really good. Why the fuck is, I like how it's uh, putting a blue line around the light that's being emitted to. There it is. Let's shut the front door since we're working at night here. That's good though. That is like a solid setup we got going on you walk in we definitely got to fill all this out i'm you know a little nightstand table so they could put keys or something like that would be good so we're gonna look at that uh i would say furniture furniture and corridor here we go i don't know what corridor they're talking about this is a shoe cabinet with tree hanger oh it's like okay that's actually pretty cool details i like this white and uh black theme we got going on. So maybe we could do it backwards. Eh, I want that. Okay. Oh, it's like a key thing too or something, if I'm not mistaken. So we could put this right there. That way you walk in, you can set your keys down in the bowl and put your jacket up and all that fun stuff. And it's just trying to figure out what else we could put in there as well too. So... I don't think there's much else. We, we could put like a bookshelf. I just don't know if we could put anything in the bookshelf. That's the problem. Uh, cabinets. Let's look at cabinets. I don't think those are that tall, unfortunately. Just trying to like fill it out and see. Not all my documents will fit in there. I'll have room to put all my things. Well, fan fucking tastic. How many documents do you fucking have? Holy shit. Okay, that's looking good. Maybe I could do two then. Uh, by now, they're getting that cabinet space and they're getting all that stuff. You know what I mean? Those are not equal at all. There's a place for my documents. I hate that guy. Are you serious, bro? Holy shit. Okay, we're going to move that. I'm going to move this over a little. Try to get them all fanned out. Come on. There we go. Side by side. Are they lined up? Oh, they are. They kind of look like one uh, shelving unit now, which is kind of cool. And it's like super lined up. So you walk in, you'll have your nice like wooden shelves. I could have went with a different color probably. I think I went with the darkest possible. We're at $52,000. Uh, I want to try to get some type of kitchen table in here so we can start envisioning how that is going to look as well. Just trying to move some of this stuff over. I definitely feel like we've been flipping this house though. Like this is some intense shit. So let's go ahead. We're going to get out of that and we're going to see what we got going on with the, nope. Um, I guess it would be the kitchen. This is just stuff for like the actual kitchen though. I need a dining room table. So, oh, dining room. Okay. So here's the dining room stuff. They have their own section. Obviously imagine if they would have just left out the dining room shit. That would have been it. Um, so we have the Christmas light colored table. Uh, that's definitely not what I want. Okay. We've bit past the tables. I'm thinking I would like some type of big glass table, enormous light table. Okay. Nope. I want something with glass on the top if possible. I know it would be a pain in the ass, but okay. What do we got? So this is the glass. We're going to have, we'll see how big this is. Yeah, I just don't know. Okay, maybe not on the glass table. I think some type of, you know what? We should keep the kitchen a, that wooden type feel and see how that would look. Like, uh, there's black wood. Maybe something like that. By now. Ah, I don't want to go. I think something dark would be better probably. There we go. This is probably more room facing this way. And then we could put the chairs around where we need to face this the one thing i hate about this game is placing furniture and having it be equal it's just the perception is all sorts of fucked up 
Uh, see, like, you'll get it too far ahead. Okay, we're going to try to line it up with that cabinet there. And then try to line it up with the door if we can. Okay, maybe two clicks over more. That was one, but I think, yep, maybe two or three. Okay, one more. This is, like, fucking ridiculous. We're gonna get it, though, damn it. Okay, we're lined up. I wish they were bigger, but that's fine. That'll work. When we put chairs, it'll kind of fill it out a little more and not look so, you know, boring sitting there. Um, so now we gotta find some chairs. I just say, uh, some regular old dining chairs here. We can, uh, continue with that theme we got going on. Okay, we're going to fill it out. It should be able to fit a lot of people here. So we're going to put two on the big side, one on each of the little sides, and we should be good. I could have put two tables together, um, but I think that might be too much because then we're left with hardly any room. And I feel like that's like a substantial amount of room there, uh, considering the fact that there's only two bedrooms as it is. Uh, okay, well, actually, there's, yeah, there's two bedrooms, but then we turned one of them into an office, so... That doesn't even look like the house that we've been working in, dude. It looks fucking crazy. It looks super good. Um, it just... Okay, so let me move this really quick, because that's kind of off-centered. I like how it gets brighter when you move it. Okay. Why can I not move it that far in? Interesting. Let's see. I'm just trying to center it out a little bit better than it is. It's centered out perfect this way, uh, but I'm trying to move it a little farther in so that way it's not just uh, all sorts of fucked up. Okay, that should be good. That's like right over the table now, and we should be centered with the door. Oh, fucking perfect, dude. We are making some good progress. We have like a super homey feel in the living room. And then, uh, you know, when you use a kitchen and then like s bathrooms, they have just like, you could tell they were recently remodeled and they just look super fancy. So there might be some things I want to change around in some of them when we kind of get everything squared away. But I got to admit, I love this fireplace and kind of like that dark stone. You have the dark fireplace with a little bit of gold in it. And then you got the fucking flat screen TV on top of it. That looks fucking solid. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to change these white cabinets and uh, something like this because it's just it's it's just not flowing as well as I thought it would. I mean, it flows with like if I were to go like that, it's like, oh, yeah, that all looks really good. And then when you kind of mix in everything else on that side, it starts losing uh, the look. And we might have to find something a little darker over here as well with this. But we're starting to fill shit out. And I'm actually super pumped because now it's all starting to take shape here. We should probably turn that fire off. Literally no one is using it. Like this fire has been on for two weeks. No one fucking, no one used it. I would say that's pretty solid. We've done a tremendous amount of work and it's cool seeing this come together because before it was just so empty and it was kind of like daunting at, at some points. You were like, oh, are we ever going to get this done? But now when you see the furniture start getting moved in, it actually starts taking shape. So we'll do the furniture and then we'll see what walls are open where we can add artwork and stuff like that. And we can go through with, you know, uh, decorations and little pieces of all that nature and really get this place ready to go. And I think this would be a great home for us to start our sell on and we sell it. We get the money and we go find another one and we start the process over again and we can stay away from those stupid jobs because we'll use the money from the house that we got to, you know, buy stuff for it and then make all of our money back when we actually sell it. So definitely an awesome process. And I'm actually super enjoying this game. Hope you guys are too, because this is where it starts to get fun when we actually get ready to flip our first house. Uh, but that's going to be where we wrap this one up. We've kind of uh, tackled as much as we could today. And then next episode, we're just going to keep going at it. Whatever looks interesting, we're going to just keep working on it and get it ready for the sell. And hopefully someone buys it. Simple as that, right? Uh, so thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of House Flipper. And we will see you next video.